Hello there, you wonderful person, you, and welcome to the third episode of Stock Speed Run Series 2. I am Matt, and this is being done on the weekend of December 11th, 2021. If you are unfamiliar with what a stock speed run is, you can check this video's description for an explanation and also a disclaimer as to its content. Enough funny business. This is, this is super serious, you guys. Freesia. I like this name. I, I kind of want to give this a buy just based on the name. It's cool. Alright, let's take- Ah! What happened here? It died. It died on the 9th. Why did it die on the 9th? Reports quarter 3 loss, uh, tops revenue estimates. I kinda don't agree with that sell-off. I think that was unnecessary because if you look at the history, it has a history of having negative earnings, albeit increasingly negative earnings, but still negative earnings and revenue increases. So this, like, like this, like this is par for the course for them. That's what this seems like to me. This is par for the course for this company. I don't see why it would have that big of a reaction. Here's a question: Did it have that big of a reaction to prior earnings reports? I wonder. Let me click on the chart. Let's see if I can figure that out. Let's go back six months. So that was the earnings report here. I'm guessing this was the last one. You know, volume spikes. Uh, Yahoo does not show me where the earnings report happens on the chart. Some platforms do. Yahoo does it because it's stupid, but... Um, volume spikes are usually a good indicator of when earnings happen, so I'm guessing this was the last earnings here. It didn't really move all that much. Sure, it, it began a bit of a downslide, but um, I think a lot of stuff had that during this time frame. So it didn't react all that badly. Well, also, also, then again, it did, it did slide down from north of 70 uh, in November, because November, November was a rough, rough month for a lot of things. It did slide down. Actually, you know what? Did things start, things didn't really start sliding. No, it was until after Thanksgiving that things started sliding. Did something happen? Uh, Hold on. I want to see if something happened to this. Okay, first of all, wait. Let me let me go back and see the reason why I'm even here. So this was uh, earnings report, earnings report. Um, I'm guessing this was the one before that. This is a very interesting chart, actually. They're back below their yearly lows. This was actually that's a 52 week uh, week low that it just hit. It was lower during during the pandemic months of last year, but that's its lowest price in a year. Huh, interesting. Um, yeah, what I was saying is that I wonder if something happened here that caused the downslide and then the earnings report just kind of compounded things. Let me go Let me go back and see. What was that, like mid, mid-November-ish? About, about a month ago, about a month ago. Notable Freese Insider trades 420k in company stock, really. Now, they say trades. Was that a buy or a sell? If it was a sell, then I can see why fear may have settled in. Exercised options to purchase 5,451 Freese shares at a price of... Oh, well, I mean, they're saving, they're saving money. Okay, you know what? That's not really... Because they're, they're, not, they're not buying it at the, at the open market. This is a backdoor deal here. You see them buying for a price of 471 It's ridiculous. Yeah, see, they then sold their shares the same day on an open market. They sold it at ranges because, for, because, they're, uh, because they're a cheater, cheaterson, cheaterson who cheats all the time. Ah, okay. Uh, did I ever look at what this did? No, I did not. So what is this company? Integrated... SaaS, uh, I believe, software as a service based software and payment platform for the healthcare industry. Interesting, interesting. So they're not healthcare; they're a payment platform for healthcare. So it's not it's not like insurance, right? But an integrated payment solution for processing of patient payments. It's a lot of p words. Try to say that five times fast. Five times fast. <laughs> payment solution for processing of patient payments. Payment solution for pro process pro shit. Um, what is this platform and range of modalities? Okay, interesting. 
I mean, I, I say interesting. I'm just saying words out loud. I honestly don't really have much to comment on, like, what the company actually is. Um... I could, so, so yeah, I don't know enough about this space to say whether or not it's a good company, it's a good space to be in, but just based on their finances, I'm saying no, because they do nothing but lose money. Uh, negative earnings all the time will cut, although I kind of wish I could see, uh, earnings prior to this quarter here. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we positive? I mean, I, st I still doubt it. I still doubt it because they were negative on the year, just like they were the year before and the year before. Revenue increase. So this is this is an expenditure problem. This is 100% an expenditure problem because sure, they can uh, they can grow their business, potentially grow their customer base. That might be where these revenue increases are coming from. But they just can't seem for the life of them to turn a profit. That implies to me that they do not have problem with income. They have problems with expenses. <sighs> Sports quarter two lost tops revenue estimates. Yeah, that was the same. That was the same as quarter three and quarter four, which I believe we talk about quarter four here. Sometimes Yahoo gets a little confused between quarter three and quarter four. Hmm. I think I've kind of looked at all I can here. I'm not too sure what else to make of this. Strong sell stocks from November sixth. You think? So? You think so, Zax? Why is that? Revised integrate Zach for its year current year earnings has been revised nearly 16% downward over the over the last 30 days. Hmm. Strong sell stocks for November 29th. Man, Zach Zach's really has it out for this company. Revised 16.1. So is that a revision on top of the revision, or, or those they talk about the same revision? Like, if I wanted to understand that where they are revising from initially, like, do I have to compound those revisions? I don't know. And you know what? I, I don't really care right now. Uh, investors paying above the intrinsic value. Yeah, you know what? Let me go look at some of these some of these statistics. It's, it's trading above enterprise value. Oh, my tab didn't open. I actually didn't even realize that I was my time was up. Um, must have spent too long talking. Eh, I have that problem. Hmm. How? Okay, this is interesting. How does your enterprise value almost be cut in half in what, like five months? That is, that is super weird. That's definitely not suspicious. Let's see, what do people think of this? You gonna load, you gonna load conversation sometime soon? That would be nice. That'd be nice, Yahoo, if you could do that for me. Please? Please, Yahoo? About to reload the page because you're stupid? Yes. Never invest a company with a name that cannot be pronounced. I don't think it can be pronounced. Iresia. I don't think it's that hard. Besides, there is no E in the P-E ratio, and it trades. Um, sorry, it took me a minute to parse that statement. That's technically correct, because it has no earnings. It's never had earnings. Well, positive earnings, at least. Trades at four times book value for an insurance company. I don't think... Are they an insurance company? I don't think they are. It didn't, it didn't describe itself as an insurance company. Yeah, Barnacle Barney, you are incorrect. It is not an insurance company, as Corey here is correcting you on. Not even close. Why do you comment on things that you know nothing about? Um, plus, Phyresia is a type of flower. Okay, interesting, interesting factoid there. It can easily be profitable and has been. Well, okay, the first part of your statement is potentially correct. It can easily be profitable. Maybe. But it has been, that's just falsely inaccurate. Falsely inaccurate? I think that's just inaccurate. <laughs> Um, okay, interesting that this conversation happened three days ago, and before that, the last person to talk was this guy. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but then before that, it was a discussion going on two years ago. Um, hmm, okay. I don't know, let's just see what the internet at large has to say. Firesia. Firesia stock. 
There's their website. Customized patient intake software. Oh, oh, investor relations. Okay, you give uh, you give some quotes. That's not terribly helpful. Um, I mean, you know what would be nice on this page? Maybe some information about how the company's doing, not just how the stock price is doing. I mean, yeah, sure, those two things are kind of intertwined a little bit, but one piece of information without the other is not very helpful. I am not feeling very enthused about this. It's not, it's not... This is, this is another one of those ones where I feel like I could go either way. I can point, I can point to the fact that they have never turned a profit and say, this is a hard sell. But I can also point to the fact that they have, um, increasing revenues, which, uh, which, which reflects uh, a growing customer base and say, it's definitely a buy. This is, this is 100% growth. But growth doesn't mean jack shit if they can't, at some point, get profitability, and I, I, am, I am willing to cast a lot of doubt on whether or not that's happening, because they've been growing their revenue, it's been, it's been, so the charts on Yahoo only go back as far as four years that I can see, the earnings charts, and for all four of those years... It's all just losing money, despite the fact that there is growth over those, well, okay, revenue growth over those four years. Something's not right here. Something is not right in this company, and I can't quite put my finger on that. I can tell what it's not. I can tell what it's not. It is not revenue. It is not potentially, <coughs> excuse me, it is not potentially customer growth. There is something inside the company that is blocking it from making money, and I don't know what that is. And because I know I I know I, I know I said the words expenditure problem, that could be anything really. That could be anything. I don't. I giving this giving giving this anything but so I'm kind of tied. I don't want to give it a buy just because that whole out that whole the whole thing makes me nervous. Question is, how nervous does it make me? Uh, the difference between a sell and a sell and a hold is how is how plausible do I think it is that they were that they will achieve profitability, and how soon? Well, their track work, their, their track record isn't isn't working out very well for them because over four years of increasing revenues, they've yet to turn a profit. Could they? One day, you know, just just release it, earnings report. Well, all of a sudden they're like, "Hey guys, we're making money now," and everyone's like, "Wait, what? I, how?" It's like, "Eh, I don't know. We just we just kind of are," because that is literally the only explanation I can see for them just suddenly out of nowhere starting to make a profit. It, it would it would uh, the only way I can see them starting to make a profit is is if it, is if it would be a slow burn. You know, they're not going to come out. All of a sudden, where they still and you know, watch this happen, and me being and me sounding like an idiot here, but I I, <laughs> I don't think at least that there's going to suddenly be an earnings report where they have a massive um, positive earnings, uh, a positive earnings um, number to show. That's. I, I, I really, really don't think it's going to be the case. If, any, if anything, if it ever it is going to, if profitability ever is going to happen, you're going to see it being a slow burn. You're going to see it being a slow burn where you see one quarter where maybe the, maybe the estimate or or maybe the maybe the loss wasn't as big as ex that was expected, and then maybe the next quarter it's like a less a less big of a loss, and the next quarter it's less big of a loss, and then finally in that in that in that quarter after that, you have a very very small positive positive earnings and then maybe after that you know it's a little more positive and after that it's a little more positive i think that's the most likely scenario how likely do i think that's do i think that scenario is their track record doesn't work it does not ref, does not reflect well on them at all you know i think i'm talking myself to a cell here yeah i think so in fact you know what that that, that one guy in the comment section uh, even though he was wrong about what kind of company this was, I think he I think he had it right. I think he had it just right. Don't invest in something that you can't pronounce. 
I'm just kidding. That's not actually a criteria. You can you can invest in things that uh, that you can't pronounce if you want to. Or it's all about the financials. Who cares what it's called, right? Uh, yeah. What do you think about this one? Uh, I am definitely not 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 really all that uh, all that enthused, as I explained. But hey. I could, I could very much be proven to be an idiot with this one. It, it's, it's not, it's, a, it's a non-zero chance. It's a non-zero chance for them to come out with that stellar earnings report one quarter and blow everyone away because they're now making a, baj a bajillion, gajillion, not just revenue, but earnings numbers. That 100% could happen in the future and I could look like a fool here, um, but I don't think it's likely. I, I, I don't think it's likely enough to give this anything, anything but a sell at least, so that's my take, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.